Hey guys, it's Tirza. Um, even though I don't have that many followers, I just wanted to say that I updated my YouTube name so that my channel name is now Tirza Life After WLS. The name that I had was awful. I mean, my first and last name and my date of birth, wonderful. So uh, if there's any uh, people out there who do identity theft, my credit score sucks, boo-boo. So go at it. No, kidding. <laughs> Not about my credit score, but don't go at it. Um, so I decided to change that. I never liked it from the beginning, but what happened was YouTube basically um, assigned that and I was just clicking, clicking, clicking and I accepted that as my YouTube channel name and I regretted it and hated it ever since and I just couldn't figure it out. So um, when I was chatting on the East Coast uh, Friends Meetup, the page on Facebook, Tom was trying to help me go through the process of how I can update and change my channel. So I think it went through and I'm happy about that. Anyway, as usual, I just go off. Um, let's start with my stats. I am 37 years old. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I am five foot six. I weighed 330 pounds at my highest weight which was um, five weeks before my surgery. Uh, the date of surgery, which was January 17th, 2012, I weighed 294 pounds and I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy performed by Dr. Wernsing in Pennsylvania Hospital. Um, November 2012, I got down to 165 pounds and ever since then, I've been back and forth. Uh, last week, I weighed 248 pounds and this week I weigh 242.4. I'm just gonna get my little self pat because uh, that is 5.6 pounds for the week. Um, so I feel really good about that because I felt like the last couple of weeks I was struggling and not doing as well as I had hoped. Um, and I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm very proud of myself for not giving up like I would have in the past and kept on trying to do what I needed to do. One moment. Anyway, where was I? I have no idea. Um, so yeah, so I had a 5.6 pound loss for the week and I'm very happy and excited about that. I also have to realize that I can't expect that every week, but I'm going to enjoy it for this week. Um, also, something that I wanted to say is that this week, it's not necessarily a non-scale victory, but I had a good week as far as doing things for myself. In the past, you know, I would always set goals and say, oh, well, if I get down to uh, 20 pounds loss, I am going to have a cheat day. A cheat day. One. You're right. That's never how it worked. Um, my life always revolved around food. And my life revolved around food for anything. Happy, sad, bored, anything. It didn't necessarily have to be a negative thing. Anything could make me want to binge eat, basically, and I love food. Um, the good thing I feel like about what I'm doing right now is that I'm not depriving myself necessarily or eating food that tastes like crap. Um, I'm enjoying the food that I'm eating. Like, for example, today I made a broccoli rabe or rapini, and I sauteed that in some olive oil, salt, and a couple of cloves of garlic. And then I had a big bado, a spicy Italian sausage. It almost looks like a burger. And I ate that together. And I thought it was delicious. I enjoyed it. So it's not like, you know, what I'm eating is bland or nasty or diet food. Um, but I digress again. I, so I decided I was going to treat myself. Not necessarily because I lost weight. Um, but I am feeling a little bit better about myself. I have over 40 pounds off of me from uh, May 15th when I started this process. So I am feeling a little bit better and I realized there was things about myself that I was completely neglecting and not taking care of. And I always put my kids first, as you should. Um, I don't have new sneakers. I don't have um, nails done or this or that. I don't go get my hair cut. Everything I do, they come first and then it's me so this week i decided i really needed a haircut i have not had a haircut in over a year and my ends were awful like they were falling out in the sink like if i comb my hair 
there was little hairs everywhere from split ends upon split ends upon split ends. So they cut off about two and a half inches off of my hair. And then she said my ends were so heavy, she razored them to like try to thin them out. But I still feel like my ends look pretty busted up. Like, I don't know. But she took off a lot of hair. Like, I looked at the floor, there was so much hair. So, I mean, other than shaving my head bald, I don't know what else I can do to make my hair healthier because she cut off a lot. The next thing I did was I tried something new. I went and got my eyebrows threaded. I've never done that before. I've had them waxed and lately I've just been plucking them myself because I just don't go out and do anything for myself. Um, so I did that and I thought that came out pretty cool and I liked it and I didn't hurt as much and then you didn't have all that sticky residue and they're not like pressing on your eyeball and stuff like they do when you have um, the wax. So I like that. The next thing I did was I went and got my nails done. So I got them cut down because um, I broke one of them when I was with my husband. We were cleaning the first floor. So I broke it and then I acted like a little baby like, babe, can I have some money so I can get my nails done? And since I never asked for stuff like that, he's like, okay, good. So that's what I did and I tried this new thing called dipping, dipping powder. So. Normally when I go lately, I'll just get gel because I like to just have my natural nail. So these are still my natural nail. And like even the advertisement says it's not gel and it's not acrylic. And sh that's exactly like, there's no way to describe it. It's not gel and it's not acrylic, but it's like really hard and I feel really good about it. And it supposedly has vitamins in it that help your nails and it doesn't strip them. And um, it was pretty cool. Like they put this nail polish and then you dip each finger in this powder and then this is what happens. I don't know. But anyway, that was a new experience and something I did to take care of myself. So I was excited about that. And I also think all these things participated in my weight loss um, because I walked everywhere I went. So where I got my eyebrows done is actually in a place in the South Philadelphia Walmart. So that's like 13 blocks away from my house. So I walked there and then I walked home. Uh, when I did my hair, that was on a separate occasion. And so that's front and Snyder, so that's still about 13 blocks, plus I have to count blocks over, and I walked there, and I walked home. Uh, the nails was in the same location, I walked there, and I walked home. So I did a lot of walking this week, and it was freaking hot, so um, I don't know how much of my weight loss is water weight, I really don't know, but I don't care. The scale says something less, and I'm happy. Water, fat, I just don't care. Um, and what else is there to say? Hmm. I don't know. But, um, I'm looking to see if I wrote anything down, but I didn't. So, oh, see, I keep messing with my hair. The problem is, it's hot, and then this part gets, like, sweaty, and then, uh, you know, we, we had our hair loss during the, the, you know, the weight loss surgery, and then I had hair loss again with my bar um, bariatric, with my um, cesarean. And this is where you tend to lose the hair, or at least for me, on these edges over here. So I have had some regrowth, but like you can kind of see through my scalp, which is not me. I have some, I've always had so much hair. And then another problem is because right here, see that where it automatically goes to this little like bald patch? That bald patch is because in 2002, almost 10 years to the date of my bariatric surgery, pri like prior, I had brain surgery. I had a, fr a right frontal lobe mass, which thank God was not cancer. So if this is all I have to deal with as a result of that, I actually have a scar that goes from here to here. And I wonder if that's why they do facelifts on the ear, because when I had the staples, they actually went all the way down to my ear, but there's nothing there. That's like completely healed and you see nothing. But I just have this thin little line that goes, well, see it? All the way down. And then the other thing you can tell from that surgery, and nobody notices it until I point it out, is that this side of my face indents here. And then this side is where I had the surgery, the right frontal lobe, and it poofs out. So this side indents, this side poofs out next to my eye. And if you feel the bones, it's like all naughty and gross, but. So, like I said.
if that's all I had to go through from having brain surgery, I will take all this in a heartbeat. Yeah, I got a poofy thing on the side of my face and a little teeny scar, no big deal. I'm so blessed. I was 22 years old, or about to be 22 years old. I was 21 when it happened. Um, and they thought it was cancer because um, when they first did my MRI, when they found it, it was like uh, the size of less than a dime. And then they wanted me to come back like in five years. And they said, because you know, people under 50, I don't usually get anything wrong with their brain. And it's very unusual. And thank God I had my mother there because most of that stuff I was doing by myself. And my mother was my advocate and said, listen, if it's unusual for someone under 50 to have these things, maybe she should come back in one year and get another MRI. So the doctor said, okay, come back in a year. So when I came back in a year, it was bigger than the size of a quarter. So it went from being smaller than a dime to bigger than a quarter. So they had immediate surgery because they thought like it grew aggressively. So they just assumed cancer. It was not cancer. Praise Jesus. Um, but you know, if something's growing like that, they still have to remove it anyway. But they actually didn't know what it was. Like they sent it to uh, a thing like for other surgeons to look at and like decide what it was and I can't for the life of me remember what it's called I just know it ends in an eoma type of thing and it necessarily wasn't a brain tumor it was they they, they just call it a mass essentially which I guess is still a tumor I don't know but anyway I am talking way too much I don't know how my bariatric surgery and my regain weight loss video became about my brain surgery I'm like nuts so I'll see y'all next week bye